politics right now. A fight over spending for retirement benefits is being fueled by President Biden's push to paint Republicans as a threat to Social Security and Medicare. Let's bring in NBC News senior political reporter Sahil Kapoor live on Capitol Hill. Sahil keeps hammering away at it because, well, it's true. <laughs> well, I mean, and, and Republicans saw he'll keep talking about it. We even had on Sunday shows Aye. this weekend, some Republicans saying the quiet part out loud, playing right into Joe Biden's game plan. That's right, Joe, Mika. We saw this fight bubble up at the State of the Union, and it is only heating up ever since then. Essentially, you have this strange dynamic where Republicans are asking President Biden, please stop attacking us on Social Security and Medicare. And Biden is persisting, saying, no, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep hitting you on the plans that are out there. Let's have a look at what uh, House Majority Leader Steve Scalise told me about this uh, the day after the State of the Union. He says, quote, the president for a few weeks now has been falsely saying that there are people that want to get rid of Social Security and Medicare, referring to Republicans. Republicans, of course. Uh, he goes on to say, I just hope he stops going around the country telling that falsehood because there's no truth to it, unquote. The White House's response, I put this to them, they say, absolutely not. The White House and uh, President Biden are going to continue calling out the Republicans because, according to White House spokesman Andrew Bakes, quote, a wide range of Republican lawmakers have endorsed severe cuts to Medicare and Social Security benefits in the name of fiscal responsibility. He goes on to say that complaining that the president is accurately shining a light on plans they don't want their constituents to know about is very much not the defense they think, unquote. So what exactly is the White House referring to here? What are the Republican plans that the president is criticizing? I got a, a list of several of them that the White House has in mind. Uh, one of them is Senator Rick Scott. This is probably the most uh, prominent one. He proposed last year to sunset all federal laws every five years unless Congress reauthorizes them. Of course, Social Security and Medicare are federal laws. Senator Ron Johnson has said that Congress should approve funding for Social Security and Medicare every year as part of the appropriation process, and if they don't, then those programs will, by default, run out of money. And then there's the Republican Study Committee, a group of more than 100 House conservatives. They put out a budget uh, for the fiscal year 2023 that would include all sorts of changes to slow the growth of Social Security benefits over the long haul and include a transition to this Medicare premium support plan. It's the plan that uh, former Speaker Paul Ryan introduced a decade ago, which is a major flashpoint on the 2012 campaign trail when President Obama was running for re-election. Now, this fight is going to play out on Capitol Hill because they have some legislating to do. They have a debt limit battle. Republicans are calling for spending cuts without pointing out what exactly spending cuts they want. And many experts have said if you exempt Social Security and Medicare, you cannot get anywhere close to a, a balanced budget. And of course, everyone saw, well, not everyone, many people saw, I should say, uh, former President Biden's State of the Union as something of a, a soft launch for his re-election campaign. Uh, Biden is making clear that he intends to highlight this issue uh, and hammer Republicans. But look, what it all boils down to, guys, is there is a fiscal reckoning coming for these programs. They will dip into the red. Medicare in 2028, Social Security in 2035. The question is how you prevent, uh, you know, what you do about it at that time. What Republicans invariably say is don't raise taxes, cut the benefits over the long haul when you push them. What Democrats say is don't cut them, raise tax revenues to finance them over the long haul, and even expand Social Security benefits. That's a, a position that President Biden has taken. We're going to be hearing a lot more more about this uh, in Washington and the campaign trail. Joe, Mika. All right, NBC's Sahil Kapoor, thank you very much for that report. We appreciate well, it. You know